The Axe is back, that's right. The little brother of the ARP Odyssey, the ARP Axe, is back in software form, courtesy of GeForce, in the form of Access. And it's got some interesting new features, so let's check it out. So let's kick off by checking out uh, what you get in terms of the original Axe synth uh, emulation. First thing I'm going to do is initialize the patch. I like how there's initialize uh, patch button. Also, very important, there's a, there is a manual. That's great. I love to see that. So here we have sawtooth sounds. Absolutely uh, wicked. Let's have a listen to that sawtooth. Let's uh, whack it up a bit. Let's, uh... It's the sawtooth, guys. Sounds great. So let's uh, whack up some resonance and uh, get juicy with it. Great stuff, though. The resonance really does take out a bit of that low end. So if you're making bass sounds, you want it fat, you're going to be uh, keeping the resonance uh, down. Also, I'm legally obligated to point out that uh, if you turn up the glides and you've got the sawtooth rocking, then you can make kind of funky worm noises. Or summer madness, whatever whatever you fancy. But that's all uh, great stuff. Let's uh, initialize again. So uh, let's check out the um, sawtooth now, the square now. And that's nice and round. Again, let's get juicy with it. It sounds great, as you would expect from uh, GeForce. And uh, a little addition, actually, to the... Um, Original uh, oscillators is a sub oscillator. You wouldn't have got this in an axe. It is identical to the square uh, oscillator, but it's down an octave. Sounds gorgeous. And if you want, you can put some noise in there. Let's have a little mix. Yeah, sounds fab. Great stuff indeed. And of course, um, uh, there's a bunch of uh, modulation that you can do, and this is all. This is all really quite simple. You've got your a uh, sine LFO that you can modulate the pitch with, and a square LFO that you can modulate the uh, pitch with as well. And there's some sample and hold stuff. And this this sample and hold, you'll also notice there's sample and hold fader over here. Um, this can either be used to <laughs> make some robot noises with uh, something old or if you turn it off that is just a um it's a kind of key follow for the filter so or you hear that um actually also it's worth pointing out there is pulse width modulation so let's uh Let's have a go with that. Sounds great. Lovely stuff. We could even assign that to the ADSR. For some Commodore 64 action, and it sounds cool. Another thing I should uh, point out is... As you might have already uh, guessed, yes, this is going to be a self-resonating filter. So let's turn it all the way up. In fact, we can turn that down. And you can make R2-D2 noises all day and all night. Now, that's all very well, and it's all very good. As, as Again, as I say, as you would expect from GeForce, they've done a lot of this sort of thing in the past. But hey, there's a bunch of new stuff in here as well. So let's check it out. Now, I I personally feel the most important change is the fact that now you got six flipping voices. Originally, this was a mono synth, but hey, now we've got a poly mode and we can play multiple notes at the same time. Up to six, in fact. Um, also, you can use those six voices uh, in unison. <laughs> You know what unison sounds like? Like that. Um, another thing that's pretty cool is we can uh, adjust the spread, right? Now, we have two modes, CNT mode and RNT mode. In CNT mode, let me whack this up. Low notes come from the left. 
high notes come from the right. Very straightforward. Uh, random mode. Oh, just stuff comes from all around your head. You don't. Oh, where's that? Where's that uh, creature? I don't know. It's flying all around your head. Okay, this is great stuff. You got mono and legato settings. That's all fine or whatever. That's cool. Um, as well. In fact, let's uh, let's initialize this as well. Um, so as well as the delay in the reverb, which you saw earlier, actually. Let's have a let's have a little tiny play with the delay and the reverb. Now what I want to do here is turn up the uh, square, turn down the sustain, and then we go up a couple of octaves. We get a little Aphex Twin noise. I can't, I can't, I can't pronounce the name of the tune, let alone play it. So that's all you're going to get out of me for that one. But doesn't it sound nice and lovely? Okay, that's all fine. Um, and then we'll go back down a couple of octaves. We have distortion. This distortion is a very, very simple indeed. In fact, let's, I don't know why I'm bothering to try and distort a square wave. Let's try and distort sorting. That's much more sensible. Oh, okay. We need to turn it on as well. That might help. Let's go down. And then we can control tone. I mean, it's not crazy or wild or anything, but hey, it's nice to have it there. Let's initialize again. So the other thing that this synth does is it uses um, GeForce's XMOD uh, modulation system, which really, really does uh, increase the power of the synth because rather than just, I mean, this is a synth of ones, basically. You've got your one LFO, you've got your one envelope, one well, oscillator, all that sort of stuff. Uh, with XMOD, you can basically have a, a amplitude, well, an envelope and an LFO for practically every parameter there. So this means you could do lots of crazy stuff. So I don't know, let's, I don't know, we can, let's modulate, so let's say we want to modulate the amount of the square wave uh, by an LFO. Well, let's just, we'll, so, so we'll, we've selected that. You can see with the little blue thingy around it, it's selected. Now, if we turn on the amp, there, it's as simple as that, guys. Now we are LFO modulating uh that and you know all of these lfo settings are unique to this one parameter so we can change the waveform and you know there we go so then you know i mean <laughs> the, the, the options are endless and we'll see um some of the cool things that they've done with that when we look through some of the presets later let's initialize yet again Another uh, cool thing that they've uh, added to this is, is a sequencer. Hey, there we go. So let's let's just do a real simple sequence. So I'm going to turn it on. Oh, it, it automatically does it. Okay, let's put it in key mode. So now it'll only play when I play a note. There we go. And this is what you'd expect. Look, you can choose a note if, when it's in this mode. Now this is gonna this is gonna be a moment of real beautiful music coming at you. Uh, and also, then you can uh, change the velocity of uh, each note here. And I'm doing this at random, and I can only assume this is just going to make a gorgeous noise when I play it. Just absolute genius. Um, if you want to, you know, spend some more time making something good, then yeah, you can do that as well. And look, it's got, you know, it's got like, you know, you got your scales in there and everything. Uh, and you could, you know, randomize it and then make something that sounds like actual music. G, G major scale, let's go. <laughs> the voice of angels. Um, okay, now, we've had a lot of fun there, but hey, we haven't really scratched the surface of the power of the synth. So let's check out some uh, presets and see what they've done with it. So in the preset library, some of these patches have an alpha symbol by them because I am an alpha male. I know what that means. That means these are the patches that uh, GeForce think are particularly good and show off the uh, synth to the best of its capability. So we will check out some of those, but also check out some of these, uh, I know, beta patches. Um, okay, let's have a look at, I've, I've made some notes. So uh, let's, uh, let's check this out, air supply. Now, I really like this patch because it's very, very simple 
Um, but it does something which I can't often be bothered to, which is it kind of sets up the self-resonant filter. Probably should have mentioned the filter's self-resonant. Uh, it does. It sets up self-resonant filter, puts a bit of distortion delay, reverb on it, and uh, a bit of noise. And then you get this lovely... Oh. Get a bit of a, a Tom Middleton vibe with that. Oh. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. That's my fave preset, but hey, let's see uh, what else is in there. So, um, Celeste. Celestial, in fact. Let's see, let's see what they've done with this. Ooh. Now, I like this because you're getting just a lot of weird high frequencies. And you could... <laughs> Put this on the top of some like pads and atmospheres and just get give give yourself a bit of a an added dimension to your music with that. Let's go let's go up an octave. I don't even care. Ooh. It's kind of uh, like that bit in Blade Runner when somebody's freaking out. And hey, I like that stuff. Let's check out some more. So uh first brass is a is a cool patch. Nothing too crazy about this. It's just a flipping synth brass, really. I mean, oh, but hey, if you're looking for a synth brass, you you won't find uh, much finer in a plugin. I uh, I don't think so. Let's go for Flicker. Well, it would help if I spelt it correctly. Sure, sure. Um, okay, what have we got here? Now. I've written cool, interesting pad in my notes. Let's see if it is really cool and interesting. Oh. Well, it is cool and interesting, but do you know what? I want to hear more reverb. Give me more. Pretty nice from a little synth, as you can see, they're using the uh, XMOD features to full effect there. And we're only going to see more of that, let me tell you. So, um, Space Portal, what's this doing? Ooh. <laughs> so a lot of, uh, a lot of modulation there. And of course, oh, I, it, it just won't stop. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. That's, oh my, okay. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Enough, enough space portal. Let's let's go for something a little uh, a little bit different. Glass and style. Now this is an alpha patch, so you know you're getting quality. It's just a bit of a bit of a bass sound with some kind of uh, filtered out delay on it. You know. Very nice, nice to have a sound like that with you know within a, a moment of uh, opening the um, patch library. Cool, cool stuff. What else? Let's uh, let's go for this school of dream fish, shall we? Hell yeah! All right. Lovely sequence of action. A lot of reverb on there, but not anymore. It's just a nice sound. Okay, what else have we got? Okay, so res and fall. What have we got here? It's just a filter sweep. Sounds nice. A little bit of modulation on that sweep to give it a little bit of flavor. That's nice. Okay. So, what's next? A thousand miles. Okay, we're into the non-alpha uh, patches now. Ooh. But I think that is a gorgeous sequence synth for us. Let's treat ourselves and play a chord. It's just quality stuff, guys. Um. What else? Oh, would you know that they have a Reese in here? And they've spelt it with a C. Uh, oh. Now that's fine, but personally, I'll be turning down the resonance. I mean, you could really, um, here in this patch in particular, 
how turning up the resonance does kind of like take away the weight of the sound. <laughs> Great stuff. And this, so, you know, you wouldn't have really been um, able to make this sort of sound on the original axe, but hey, they're using the unison. Let's let's go for Max Blippi. Very rumbly indeed. What else have we got in here? Now we've got some bird themed patches, which I, I quite enjoy. Let's go for Bird Rain first. Lovely stuff. My note I had for this one was, sounds nice. And it does sound nice. Let's hear it twice. It's a nice filter making a nice noise. Okay, but what about bird tweet? <laughs> okay, so they're, they're uh, using the uh, low frequency oscillator speed with X mod here. I just see a name. Doing some cool stuff with it. Let's muck about with it, see if it does anything cool. Ooh, we've made a, a bit of a different bird sound. Great stuff. Next, Brilliant World. What's happening in this Brilliant World? Let's see. It's just a nice poly sweep. Oh, lots of uh, lots of tail on that one. It's all cool. Now, broken up. I mean, it doesn't sound too broken to me, guys. So this is using the uh, ARP mode, so you can, you know, you can do more complex stuff with a sequencer, or you can just put it in ARP mode, and you know, just go go nuts. Let's sort of see, let's see what this, this does. Jolly, jolly good. Okay. What else is happening? Chord dancer, yes please. Okay, now I've made a note here to play big chords. Let's play them. Oh yeah. A bit of Detroit flavor, why not? And keeping in with the techno uh, theme, let's have some uh, dark acid, please. Oh. Let's, let's turn the uh, extraneous effects off. Detroit jungle techno, you know. It's all, uh, it's all happening. Okay. Deafening frost. You know the feel when the frost is deafening. Oh, good, good lordy. <laughs> nice screechy noise. The sort of noise you might not be able to imagine you could make with this uh, synth from first impressions, but hey, it's happening. Um, Envisage. Shows off the unison, apparently. Oh. It's trance time. Certainly not something you could have done with the um, original synth. Now look, we're in for a treat now. Yup, animal noises. I love it when a synth makes an animal noise. And I've never, do you know, I'm, I don't think I've ever seen a synth try and make a guinea pig noise before. So we're making history here. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to make some real analog flavored weak noises like a guinea pig would. I mean that for me, that alone is worth the price of admission. Play with it all day. Um, Iberic Pulse, whatever that is. Oh, it's eight is time. Yeah, another synth brass, but it's sounding nice. Okay, clon time. Let's go for clon's vessel base. Now again, when it comes to bass sounds, I do tend to like a bit of a lower resonance. Yeah. 
you're welcome, Clon. We've sorted your bass out right there. Um, another sound that shows off the power of the synth is knock sequence. And this uses, again, um, uh, self-resonating filter. Let's hear what it does. And it's just using the uh, sequence here. In fact, we could we could make this longer. Hey, let's randomize it. Oh, yeah. So if you want to get some interesting synth percussion, that's a cool thing. And hey, it won't stop rocking. Um, liquid uh, phrases. I have this noted down as obnoxious. <laughs> it is pretty obnoxious, but it's all right, you know. make some abrasive dance music uh, i guess that'll uh, that'll work okay now let's have some dystopian action Ooh. and you could just look out of the window but hey let's have a patch to accompany it oh so this is using some uh, x mod on the distortion oh So again, certainly nothing you could have done with the original uh, synth. Now let's have some patterned thoughts, yeah. Oh, more synth brass. Then it's sequenced. Let's have a fiddle with it, why not? Oh yeah, now you're talking. Let's put some noise in there. I like that. That's uh, that's a cool little sound there. What else? Percussive zap. What's happening? I mean, it could be zappier. Let's see what we could do. Oh, good, good lord. Okay, I will never touch the synthesizer again. I'm so sorry, uh, everybody. Okay, what else? Pulsar, pulsar. Now I remember enjoying this patch. Ooh. got a little whiny thing but then some also some sequence bits coming in as well good stuff good stuff what else have we got here roman arps all righty i tell you what let's put it in sequence mode and really treat ourselves oh yeah that's the good thing about synths you can make all the music just by pressing one thing at a time. Love it. Okay, what else now? Okay. Now. Shuttle Blues. Now, which Grecian synthesis do you think this is going to evoke? I'll give you a clue. It's Flippin' Vangelis. Ooh. Ooh, listen to those saws. Like tears in rain, that is a lovely, lovely um, patch. Okay. Sonic Fortress sounds cool. Ooh. <laughs> and that's pretty cool. I mean, that's getting really, uh, really on a super sort of. <laughs> Which isn't something you'd necessarily expect from a, an ARP synth. Okay. This is going to be a spelling challenge for me. Takeshi's two voice. What's it doing? Kind of a vocal feel. Just so much delay and reverb. Let's see what it sounds like without them. Oh, yeah, I like that. Getting a bit of a Tamita vibe. No bad thing. Okay, then. Three seasons, really? Oh, good lord. Just selecting that pit patch does crazy things. Oh, yeah. Now, I like the modulated feel on this one. Yeah. Why isn't that an alpha patch? That one's cool. Come on, guys. Why splitting these guys up? Okay. And finally, winter is, uh, is interesting Atmos. 
Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, and those those patches with like loads of kind of like high end weirdness going remind remind me a lot of kind of like some nice pads that you'd get on like the old uh, Korg uh, sound modules, like the O uh, One W. Let's let's listen to a bit more. Let's go, let's go higher. Oh, lovely ear tingling stuff. So there you go. Um, so yeah, this synth won't make every sound in the world, but the ones it does make are pretty nice. Okay, so GeForce Access is a cool synth. It, it adds exciting new stuff to the original version, as GeForce are want to do. But my question is, who's it really for? Um, GeForce Access is £66 plus VAT, which is a pretty reasonable price. But for a few quid more, specifically £99 plus VAT, you can get GeForce Oddity 3, which is a more powerful synth. So my question is, why would you buy Access when there are more powerful synths available? Well, I don't know. Maybe you're a particular fan of the ARP Axe. Maybe you want less faders to stress you out. Maybe you like the sound of its presets. I don't know. Look, there's a demo version. Check it out for yourself. But overall, cool synth. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 